Hey folks, Crazy Climber Eddie here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Bonanza Brothers. And this was created by Sega in 1990 for the uh, Sega System 32 hardware. There weren't very many games on it, and none were terribly memorable, I don't think. This one's actually kind of fun. This is a stealth game uh, in which, or System 24, not System 32. Maybe I said 32, I didn't mean to. But uh, this is a stealth game, and uh, it features toy-like characters. <laughs> it's very weird, but it's kind of interesting. And those are the Bonanza Brothers. Wanted dead or alive for $100. <laughs> what a measly reward. But uh, you're thieves, and you go into these buildings and steal stuff. You play both in two-player simultaneous play only. Otherwise, you're the taller guy in red. But yeah, all the characters are like toys. It's uh, kind of interesting. But you need to get uh, certain treasure objects out of each building. And there are a total of 12 yeah. buildings in the game. <laughs> and... The, the humor in this game, I really like it. Um, there are certain ways to uh, take out your foes, which are security guards for the most part. Um, you can wait for them to turn their back. You have a, you have a gun with unlimited bullets. Um, you don't even have to shoot them uh, much of the time. But uh, just try to sneak by them when you can. A very interesting little game and you want to get all the treasures and then get out of the building on the roof and you'll catch a ride to the next stage you can choose to start with the training stage and that's just one stage and here we go there are two planes to walk on and you can switch between the planes just by moving up or down I <laughs> smush the uh, guy at the entryway you can't fall in those holes, don't worry. But see, his back was turned towards me so I could shoot him real quick. They won't they will never die. They'll come back. You climb upstairs, and again there are two two planes. I am standing on one and I can move down to the other. See these guys have their heads turned away from me so I can sneak past them. And you can jump onto uh, <laughs> platforms in the background and you make your way to the roof and this blimp will arrive and carry you off. I don't get points for time remaining on the training level but you do on every other level. So here is the actual first level, a bank. And it shows you the targets, the uh, treasures that you need to pick up. <laughs> I like his <laughs> when he collects a treasure. Yeah. I <laughs> love that Wah! when you smack a, an enemy with the door. You can wait for them to come to the door, and if they do, then you can smack them with the door. If a guard does see you trying to hide up on the other plane, they will come after you. And if they come close to you, they can smack you with their, uh, with their uh, night stick, and you'll lose a life. Whenever you lose a life, oh, if, if you're close yeah. enough and you rapidly fire, uh, press fire, you can shoot them right when they get up to you. But you'll need to act quick, whatever you do. And that was a short level. There's the blimp, and you get time for points for the rest of your time. If you run out of time, you have to start the level all the way over. Now, if you, if you lose a life, you lose your treasures, but they're all in the same spot, so on your next life, you can pick them up. Now, there will be sometimes banana peels or cans or something on the ground that you can slip on, and that'll make enough noise that it'll alert, <laughs> it'll alert the uh, guards. Now, you can lure uh, one of those guards into the, that stairwell, and he'll be stuck in the stairwell for some reason if he tries to follow you and you're near one. 
to see. He's just stuck there. <laughs> kind of interesting play mechanics. <laughs> he smashed a, a guy for me. <laughs> this game is funny, and then I smashed him. <laughs> I do kind of like this game. It's funny. Whoops! I slipped, and see, he found. He saw that I was there. Now here, one. There's only like a couple times in the game you can use a zip line to go down to another building. And you'll see that zip line on the map screen. You see it just above the action screen. And this guy is a pain in the butt. You have to shoot him enough times. You have to shoot him a lot of times and then you'll knock him out. But you want to wait until his back turns is turned towards you. Now I can go back up the exit. But again, whenever you get hit and lose a life, you will lose your treasures, but they'll be right there where you can pick them up. And now we go to a bonus stage. This is really pretty easy. Just pick up all the treasures. Don't get touched by those uh, searchlights. If you do, the stage is over and you get your ass beaten up by uh, cops. <laughs> but this first stage is easy. Those doors you can go in to hide from the searchlights. This game really is pretty innovative and interesting. Now we go to uh, this uh, casino stage. <laughs> and smash the fat guy with the door. But yeah, you just press up to, to hide from their shots on the, uh, um, on the upper plane. Of course, when I run away, he starts coming after me and shooting me. Yeah, that fat bu that fat guy can throw bombs, and he'll take several shots to bring down. As you progress in the game, the uh, the enemies will recover quicker from being knocked out by your shots, or being hit by a door or something. Ah, crap! Yeah, the guards can sometimes be a little hard to, uh, to fool. See, he's going to try to follow me. I can't let him get too close unless I shoot him real quick. But they notice that the guards often have shields, and they'll block your shots. You know, you can jump over them or keep, keep trying to get away from them. Um, you can jump and in mid-air switch the planes. Yeah, don't forget you can fool the guard in the stairwell that way. Uh, you can switch planes while jumping in mid-air. And that's also very helpful. You'll, you can hook upwards while you're jumping. And you can, uh, go upstairs quicker that way. Yeah, I hate those bomb guys. They take so many shots, and sometimes there will be a guard you have to contend with at the same time. Yeah, you'll get destroyed by the bombs and lose a life. And this guy is going to follow me. There will sometimes be a springboard, and you'll need to go up to higher areas with it. I just don't want that guard behind me shooting me. Well, I guess he won't shoot. Well, that's good. Ah, crap! <laughs> there was another springboard below. Yikes! <laughs> but again, um, it's very useful to uh, scale stairs by just jumping in midair and switching to the back uh, uh, plane. It saves you a little bit of time. Now we go to the bank. Or the mint. And here you have a lever and you can use it to squish the enemy. They'll recover. I, I wasn't paying attention. I'll, I'll do it again. Those little tiny, tiny spaces there, you can jump inside those like there to avoid their shots. 
I wish they could shoot each other. I don't... Uh, they can't. But yeah, when they when they get mad, they can uh, and they see you, they can start following you and going to the plane that you're on. And you'll need to act quick when they come close. Shoot them or or jump over them. And since uh, their shield might be facing you, you might need to try to quickly jump over them. If you get too close for too long, they'll hit you with their baton and cause you to lose a life. There's another lever where I can squish them. But this is a interesting little uh, stealth game. Oh crap. <laughs> they can't use the lever on you, don't worry. I'd never seen this before. Uh, I knew that there was a Sega Genesis port of this. <laughs> Game is this game has a uh, fun sense of humor. Now you face doggies. And even though they're toys, they they yipe like like uh, their real life counterparts. Kind of sad. <laughs> I stepped was that a rake I stepped on and it hit me. <laughs> this game is just very funny. Oh yeah, he chased me. You need to move away from him quickly. There, he stopped following me once I went down the stairs. But, uh, I guess this was in our... Ah, crap. I didn't come close enough to that little area to jump in. I neglected to continue here, I believe. But I will show you snippets of the rest of the levels. After I put my initials in. But yeah, there are a total of 12 stages. And uh, there will be a couple more bonus rounds in this game. And they're all the same. You avoid the searchlights and try to get all the gold bags. I'm just going to skip to the end of the level here. And catch my... Blimp ride. And the department store is next. Here are the treasures you have to collect. And once again, there are sometimes items that will that you can slip on and that'll alert the uh, guard's presence. They don't usually follow you up the stairs unless they're like pretty close to you. Yeah, I, I kind of like this game. It's 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 unusual, and it's it's odd that they uh, dis that they decided to uh, make all the characters uh, toy figures in this game. And don't forget to lure that uh, guard into the stairwell. Very useful technique. Yeah, the the guards are already. Uh, recovering much quicker from being knocked out <laughs> oh phew avoided all these shots there hey damn it I was too close to him so he used his uh, stick on me and knocked me over well at any rate the next level is underground caverns you have to get four stacks of gold bars. You just start off on this. There's nothing you can do to control it. You'll eventually fall off. Hey yeah, guys, I don't know what he's doing in the corner, but he's not paying attention to me. That's all that matters. But I'll just show you snippets of uh, of each level, so that we can uh, skip forward and see the ending. In a little bit. Eat that. Uh, <laughs> eat that. <laughs> but here's the end of that level. You always get that little airship taking you away. And here's another bonus stage. Now I think I'll show you what it looks like to uh, 
to have the searchlights see you. <laughs> you fall down and beat you up. Eat that, eat that. <laughs> and jewelry store is stage 7. Here are the targets, or the treasures you need to pick up. <laughs> I don't know what that guy's doing in the corner. Looks like he's playing hide and seek or something. But he, ah, when uh, when the enemy gets close, when the guard gets close, you need to react quickly. Crap. But we'll scoot forward onto uh, stage eight, which is a laboratory, and you'll need to collect beakers and other things. Yeah, he didn't come close enough for me to squash him with the door. <laughs> I love this part. You hide here and you take a robot head and put it on and they don't notice you. <laughs> this game is this game is pretty innovative and cool. And we'll scoot forward and I'll beat the level here. We'll go to stage 9. Again, you can play a two-player simultaneous play in this game. Now we go to a deluxe liner. There's four treasures there that you have to pick up. If it doesn't seem like there's a way to get to a, a certain treasure, there always is. You just have to go around and find a different way. <laughs> we have uh, cooks running around <laughs> with dishes, and you can shoot them too. Whoops, I slipped on something. Let's smush another guy with a door. Wah. <laughs> this game is pretty darn cool. I've never played the uh, Sega Genesis version. We'll skip forward onto the Antique Shop. Uh, level 10. Or Stage 10. But yeah, if you're being pursued closely by a guard and you're coming up towards a set of stairs you can jump and hook upwards to go up the stairs quicker after this stage then you go to another bonus stage and again you can hide in those doors uh, temporarily to avoid being seen by the spotlight or the searchlight yeah you don't get very much uh, clearance to jump over that upper right platform ran out of time you failed you get no bonus now we go to the art museum this is the second to last stage an art museum I, I halfway accept, expect to see a mappy in this <laughs> classic uh, game in which he's a security guard mouse and he has to protect these uh, paintings from being stolen and various uh, various items and we'll skip forward to the end of stage 11 and see the last stage and it's huge and you don't have a whole lot of time to complete it here's all the treasures you need to pick up holy crap 10 of them yep and there the rooms themselves are small but there's a lot of a lot of uh, stairs I had to avoid the guard there and there's <laughs> eat that and there's one spot uh, up towards the top where there are false floors that will open up and you'll have to fall down you'll fall down to a lower level and you'll have to go around and here it is Ah, crap. <laughs> yeah, I fell down there. But here is the end of Bonanza Brothers. And uh, the ending credits are shown over like a silent film. Kind of a, a Keystone Cops or a Buster Keaton or Charlie Chaplin type of movie with silly shenanigans going on but 
That is Bonanza Brothers by Sega for the System 24 hardware in 1990. Very silly but engaging little uh, stealth game. Kind of interesting. It was also for the uh, Sega Genesis. I have not seen the Sega Genesis version. Hell, I never saw this in the arcades. But there was a specific uh, number of games for the System 24 hardware, most of which weren't really memorable or very good. I remember uh, Gain Ground was one of those games, and I didn't think that was a very good game. Kind of a gauntlet knockoff. This is Bonanza Brothers. It was requested by YouTube user The Mutt. It's a fun little game uh, if you've got a Genesis or or an uh, MAME emulator, arcade emulator. Uh, check it out. Kind of interesting that they went with a uh, uh, toy uh, character motif. That's kind of fun. But that was Bonanza Brothers by Sega in 1990 for the uh, System 24 hardware. Well, this is Crazy Clan Ready saying thanks for watching Bonanza Brothers by Sega in 1990 for the Sega System 24 hardware. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later in the future with another video. Have a good one, folks. Take it easy. Bye-bye.